Okay, so just a quick overview about the concept and some of the ideas um, in this Alustar trailer, concept trailer. Um, starting with the nose box, it's quite a substantial nose box. Inside the box, uh, the geezer is mounted um, with a permanent gas bottle. Um, space for the Weber Q, which is quite nifty for the evenings when you get to camp late and you need to feed the kids. Um, it's quite quick to quickly put a piece of burrowors or a patty or something on the braai, on the grill. Feed the kids while you, the rest of the adults are setting up camp. Some general storage space, um, still to be refined with some hooks and um, lashing points. Um, or maybe a net, um, that's still to come. Then the filler for the water tank, it's on the side here. Um, electrical up there um, for the 220 volt socket um, if we move around additional gas bottle for the outside until we can get uh, quick connectors um, we will have one gas bottle on the outside to connect the gas stove and the Weber or any other piece of equipment that needs gas um, coming around Top here is the tap arrangement. It's a boat, upper deck, tap and shower head. Um, this one, the hose is quite long still, about five meters, so it doubles up as a shower extension. That we can actually shower here on the side of the trailer. Um, but for the rest, it's just for water access to the sinks, pop-out sinks that slide underneath uh, the fridge. Um, Hot and cold water mixer, set the temperature up there, you can open the tap there, then you've got the trigger at the bottom, connected to the water pump. Um, obviously it's pop out uh, wash basin and dry rack, pop them back in, it slides underneath, currently that's a non-ideal position for it, it's a slightly low, um, so that still needs refining, but the idea is to, to utilize the space be below the fridge. The fridge itself, just a neat place to have it next to the kitchen, quite standard, nothing new there. Then the side kitchen, um, this is laid out for quick coffee and bread for lunch next to the road so that you have everything nearby that you only need to open the one door. Um, Kettle, coffee, aeropress, um, rusks, chips, other snacks in there, bread, salty crack snacks, whatever, up there. Um, space for some mugs and some other spreads. This one still to be fitted out. The one thing that will go there is the lighter. Uh, gas stove, um, quite a big one straps in there currently also good space for a uh, wood plant cutting board um, also in here we've got a little bag with all our electrics and headlights and stuff um, little charging area direct to 20 volt or to 12 volt um, usb sockets also the display for the um, national luna charger the tank level gauge and the water, the tap switch, uh, or the pump switch for on and off. Then stepping around to the back, the slide out kitchen in the back, more for, or packed for longer stays or for overnight when you are already set up. So in here you've got the space for the pots. Um, we currently have two, still need to refine a bit what pots we're gonna carry. The glasses are still in a box. Um, but yeah, the idea is to have pots and glasses. Um, my wife doesn't drink out of tin. When we camp, it's only glass, so I need to make a plan there. Then a little storage space for tot measures, um, the cutlery that that we can put there. Then um, storage space for bottles. Um, it's in foam, so it's beverages, oil whatever bottles you need to carry. Up here, cereals, um, some storage boxes that fit there. 
just for general loose stuff, mostly cereals, sugar, salts, um, etc. Spice rack at the back, um, removable. So if you needed to take it out, you put it where you want to work. Um, cutlery, same thing. Plates, um, all the plates and porridge bowls. And then in the back, the bottom here, some more cutting boards. We still need to utilize that space better. It's got a drop down um, table. So even though the trailer is only about 1.8 meters long, we have about 1.9 to 2 meters of usable um, table space. Then coming around, three drawers, uh, ladder and stuff in the narrow drawer in the back, but in the deep drawer, um, in the deep drawers, currently the big 270 degree awning that won't travel along for weekends. Um, so there we will have some more crates um, and stuff on the top drawer. That one fits for camping chairs, which is a must for our family. Okay. Tent is a standard um, Conqueror compact tent. Um, I like the way it operates. It takes about 10 minutes to set up the tent from start to finish. Um, quite easy. Gives a nice livable space. Um, and inside we've got three drawers, pull-out drawers, and some more cupboard space on that side. Uh, we had some canvas bags made that fill out the drawers nicely so that you can carry your clothes from your house to the, to the camp trailer. And then also when you're at camp, if you need to go to the um, showers or wherever, you can pack a little bag, you don't have to carry your stuff loose. Some additional storage space. Tent still needs to be modified here to go a bit lower, but some extra storage space there for uh, blankets, heavy jackets, um, some of the more bulky items that you want to carry along, um, and yeah, also a light, a la socket for uh, internal light that needs to mount on the roof still or inside the tent up there. Um, but for the rest, pretty standard affair. You know, on the front here on the side you've got this little narrow space that is perfect for tables, side tables, solar panel, um, some other loose flat stuff that we need to take along as a family. Um, quite a handy little space because it's so high and so deep. Um, works perfectly for solar panels and tables.